hey how's it going um okay so guys really quick i'm going to get right into this video first and foremost let me tell you guys my room has windows so if you hear something out on the street or you hear somebody yell in the background sorry about that in advance but there's really nothing i can do about it two um i'm going to start off by saying before i even say anything about this company i paid for this hair with my own money I don't have any discounts off of this. I don't know the person who actually owns this company. I don't know her from a can of paint. Um, everything that I'm saying in this video is based on my own personal opinion about the hair that I received. So with that being said, um, I will say that I love this hair. I love this hair for the price point and I love this hair for the fact that it's actually holding and maintaining after all of the things that I did to it to be able to get this color, especially to get the tips. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to put pictures at the very end of the video so you can see what the hair looked like as far as the color and everything goes, or the original color of the hair and stuff like that. The hair that I have is from Snob, um, from Snob Life. It's Snob Hair from Ming Lee, or I am Ming Lee on YouTube. She actually did a really successful video, and I believe it was the Pronto pronto weave or pronto video you can check that out i'll see if i can find the link and i'll put that in there and i will also put the link to the website in the information bar below so check that out too now i got this hair on sale so my total price for four bundles was 339 i received 222s 120 and 118 inch and then i already had a closure at home so i didn't need to purchase a closure but she sells closures on her website and i believe there might be a sale going on now i'm not sure but check it out so you guys I love this hair um, the hair came in in four bundles and the bundles were 3.5 in weight everything measured true to length I actually had took some pictures and recorded a little bit when I first opened my package but I erased I erased that I don't know how I did that but hopefully if I can find I'll try to look back through and see if I can find something just to show you guys but um, if not it was standard standard weight standard color um about a 1b as i said everything measured true to length the ends weren't tore up or all brittle um it was packaged in individual plastic wrap that basically said the type of hair that you received and the length of the hair that you received um packaging was nothing spectacular but i'm not really big on packaging i like nice packaging but it's not necessary for me so it's not that serious um everything was individually packaged though so you can definitely once you know if you take your hair out you can put it back in those packages to kind of store it um i had to bleach this hair four times to get it white enough to be able to take the gray color originally the gray was actually lighter than this um when i co-washed the hair after my birthday because i um i was like sweat i was at the club so i was sweating and i had like spray in my hair and stuff like that and I wanted to co wash it. I didn't want to leave it in there. So with with what I used it kind of gave it more of a blue tint at the very ends of it. But over time it'll fade back out. And I'll show you guys all the products and stuff that I used to get this. So like I said, originally I had to bleach this hair four times. It's a 1B. In order to get anything that is a gray or like a real pastel color or white, you have to bleach the hair like until it is that white blonde color. Now, I was a little nervous because I was like, okay, I don't necessarily know. This is the first time that I ever purchased from this company. So I'm like, I don't know the quality of this hair. I saw some reviews. Some reviews were bad, but the majority of the reviews that I saw were good. Um, I actually contacted a young lady on Instagram. I saw that she had, um, had colored her hair that she purchased from there. And she was explaining to me she had colored it like two other times. And, it, you know, it still held up great. So... I said, well, you know what? I'm going to try to color it the color that I really want right now. Originally, I was going to do um, green, but I said, you know what? I want something that's like a blue, grayish kind of color. So let me see if I can get this hair to do it. And if not, if all else fails, I can slap black on it and at least be able to wear it, you know, for my birthday. And maybe get a couple wears out of it. Okay. So I bleached it the four times and I got it white, white, like white white and I was really really pleased because each time I bleached it I made sure that I you know checked it and was really really on it to make sure that it wasn't over processing or it wasn't really too damaging to the hair because anytime you you bleach hair you're gonna get some damage like 
that is what it is. Um, but it wasn't anything excessive. The ends weren't splitting like crazy. I didn't have, it wasn't making the hair all like nasty and cakey. It really bleached, it took the bleach really well. Um, it didn't completely dry the hair out or burn the hair out in any way, shape, or form. Now, side note, um, for those of you who do not know, I do have my hairdressing license. I've had it for some time now. I won't tell you how long because you ain't going to know how old I am. Um, but I do know what to do. So if you do not know how to bleach hair or you are not accustomed to coloring hair, seek someone's advice or either let someone else do it so that you don't damage your hair. If you are going to lighten it, if you're just going to add deposit color to make it darker, you really can't, you really can't mess that up. That's fairly simple. Um, so back to what I was saying. Once I bleached the hair, um, I went ahead and I deposited the colors onto the hair. Now the hair is a blue black. It's blue. It's gray, like a blue steel, and it's a light blue. So all four of the colors are kind of combined. Now at the root to about here, as you can see, it's the blue black, and I used Color Brilliance Permanent Cream Color to get that and this is what it looks like and I purchased this one from did I get these from Sally's or no no I got this from the pro shop which name I can't think of right now I don't know I just drew a blank but the the pro shop the pro hair shop so I believe they sell this one at Sally's though this one I know they do not well not at my Sally they don't they don't sell this one here at Sally's but um, this is Logix, and I this is actually the lightest blonde blue. And then this one I mixed, and it was actually the ultra light blue. So I mixed these two together. And if you can tell, if you look on parts of the hair, you'll see where parts of it kind of still has like a blue tint to it. More so a blue than a gray. And then what I did, I actually went into some of it, and I actually used some foil, and I put the blue steel which is from Manic Panic, and this you can get from Sally's. So I got this from Sally's. I received these from the pro store, but you can, I don't know why I can't think of the name right now. Lord, but you know. Um, this one you can get from Sally's. As I said, these you cannot. But everybody knows a hairdresser. Everybody knows a hairdresser. So if you want these, I'm quite sure you know somebody who knows somebody who can get these for you. And I used um, 20, 20 developer for these. And to deposit it, I actually used 10 developer for this. Just because I knew it was gonna take, it's darker, so no big deal. Um, and this I foiled and I put this on some of the tips. And I left this on for, I mean, hours. I think I actually left it on overnight. And then I went back and I conditioned the heck out of this hair. Um, what I did was I actually combined two. I used the silver, um, shiny silver ultra color enhancing conditioner, and it is for um, like taking out like yellow and brassiness for gray hair, for white or gray hair. So I used this. I actually poured this bottle into a container, and then I actually poured some of this into a container also. And clearly, as you can see, I need to get more of both. But I poured these two conditioners together and I slapped it all over the hair and I put them in um I put two of the bundles I separated them two bundles and two bundles in the closure and I put them in Ziploc bags and I let them sit out and I let them sit out for I want to say six hours because I left and I worked a half day that day so I left and I came home so yeah about six hours six and a half hours let the conditioner sit like crazy because I knew that I had colored the hair and I had processed it so much that I wanted to, I wanted it to be able to still maintain and not fall apart or you know tangle up after I put it in my head. Now this was the ultimate kicker. After I installed the hair, it is installed on a wig cap. And I wanted to be able to take it on and off just because I have some things coming up and I can't necessarily walk around with gray hair or blue hair, unfortunately. But um. I installed it and I've had it in actually sewn onto my head for about a week about a week and a day now I have slept in this hair I've had no tangling and I don't always wrap my hair up I went out for my birthday if you did not check out that video check it out um, and I was in the restaurant in the club 
in the casino sweating like sweating like crazy and I had no kinks I didn't have to worry about it you know kinking up on me or getting crazy on me I was at the fair I went to the fair Friday morning and Sunday and I was there Sunday for hours it didn't kink up on me at all um, I've exercised no no like knots and tangles nothing crazy even shedding I thought maybe okay well since I've colored it so much it'll probably shed more than you know more than I would like but I was willing to I was okay with that because I'm like I had processed the hair so but no I haven't had like major shedding or major strands I get a couple strands here and there I can run my fingers through my hair and get absolutely nothing even I didn't I didn't cut my wefts so none of my wefts are actually cut they're all folded over which is great but I've had no serious no serious shedding no tangling at all the hair still holds a curl um, I actually curled the hair early like early early this morning before I went to bed because I went to bed maybe about one or two and this is what it is I put it in a couple pins to you know keep some waves in it I do I do sleep with a satin pillowcase so that might help but that's it so for me I love the hair um, like I said I'm not a big it doesn't matter to me about packaging I'm not ultimately concerned about I guess the little you know like little little nitpick kind of things some everybody's different some people look at things and they don't like it they don't like certain things for me certain things don't bother me like I said packaging and stuff like that I don't have an issue with um the one thing that I will say though is one of my bundles when I was installing it I noticed that there was a bundle that looked like there was an additional piece attached to the bundle and it was maybe about that much and I think I took a picture of it and if so I will implement it in the video for you guys to see um, but it was about that much attached to one of my bundles and it looked like it was sewn on after the fact but I haven't had any you know any issues off of that like I said because it still isn't really shedding like that or anything so no no big deals with that but that's the one complaint I'll say I had um, besides that no big issues oh, I will tell you guys this though if you have gray hair you know light blue hair pastel color even if you have like light blonde hair remember this if you are using hot tools make sure that the temperature for um, is correct for the color that you are using you don't want to put something that's really really hot on light hair because it will scorch it it will burn it and you will not be able to get it out so be careful with that it'll make it really brassy and really just ugh. so if any of you I know you know and then you know grandma or great grandma and they got light hair they tell you that all the time that's what my great grandmother used to tell me so I was well aware before I started to try to curl hair turn the temperature down um nothing else that I do to maintain it like I, I said I don't really wrap it up which is kind of messed up I guess but you know that's that's the test for me that's the test test for me is if I can go to sleep without and wake up without having like kinks in the back of my head or my hair looking extra crazy or it's starting to mat up and shed I'm good if it I can still run my fingers through my hair I don't want to run it too, too much because I'm gonna mess up my curls but if I can run my fingers through my hair and not have any kinks or not have any serious shedding after I wake up in the morning or not really have to worry about doing too much of this hair I like low maintenance hair so for me I'm good 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 what I did was um I did condition the hair twice before I actually um did it for my birth for I actually did it for my birthday my birthday was Friday so before I actually like curled it curled it I think I conditioned it what was it I want to say again after the first time I slapped it on it for maybe about an hour or so and I want to say I did that on Wednesday yeah because I installed it Saturday before last so yeah Wednesday is when I conditioned it again but um that's about it I did clip some of the ends not because they were you know extra crazy or anything like that but because I wanted it to be a certain length um I will say though this is one other thing I did notice for some people if you want say you want hair that's 22 inches you want it to be you know really thick from root to tip make sure that you order something like a 24 because the ends were a little um a little thin in comparison to some of the other companies that I've ordered from but nothing major and then everything measured true to length so you know be aware of that but i think that's about it guys i'm about to go exercise um for those of you who are wondering um i am wearing a yukon shirt no i did not graduate from yukon um i graduated from virginia union university in richmond va i am just wearing this because 
I'm getting ready to go exercise and I had it so just in case you wanted to know so check out my other video and make sure that you guys hit that button subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think and otherwise I'll talk to you guys soon bye see you later